concern you have you know, regarding Robbie Lawler going in there? What would be the one thing you're worried, not worried about? But the one thing that about? Robbie Lawler has that everybody sees is the will to fight. And, and the way I mean by that is that you can never count him out. You know what I mean? You can never count him out because he's one, he's, he could be one punch away from a knockout. Or he could be one punch away from getting you to the ground. Um, he's that kind, of, that kind of a fighter. He's going to be a grinder. He's going to be somebody that comes out there and fights all 25 minutes. And that's what I've prepared for. Finally, like George St. Pierre was this kind of a, a signature fighter, glamour fighter in, in the organization. Uh, do you feel like maybe you don't get the uh, enough of uh, accolades for, for what you've accomplished because you came in after? All fighters do when they come in after a great. No, a great no. Competitor. Here's the thing. No, I. You know that's the thing is, uh, George did amazing things for this, for my weight class and for the UFC. I can't. I can't compete against that. You know what I mean? All I can do is make my own. Does that make sense? So once George retired, and I haven't thought about it at all. You know what I mean? I don't think about George uh, because I can't. I got to get through Robbie Lawler. Then after him, who else? Then you got Roy McDonald. Then you got Tyron Woodley. You have Hector Lombard. You got Matt Brown. You have maybe Nick Diaz might come back. You know what I mean? You got a bunch, a stacked card. You know what I mean? You have a bunch of killers coming for that belt. And if George jumps back in there, yeah, I'll give him a shot. But I can't think about him. I got to think about Robbie and those other guys because it's, it's a fun class to be in right now. Is this fight going to go the distance? That's a great question. Uh, I don't see it going the distance, but if it does, the fans will be very happy. And whose hand is going to be raised? <laughs> of course mine. I mean, uh, I got to believe. It's like he's going to believe he's going to win. I have to go in there. If I don't believe I can't win, then why fight? Well, we appreciate it. We want to wish you all the best. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You have a great day. You too. Hey, Johnny, last time we talked to you, uh, Talked a little bit about the grief you took about being uh, overweight off while you're you've been recouping. Yep. So uh, yep, did was, uh, uh, did Mike Dolce uh, get you back in shape? And how hard <laughs> was it during Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh well, Thanksgiving I flew to Vegas, so I I, I took that scenario out of there. Uh, but so you did you did <laughs> no no <laughs> no Thanksgiving. Uh, well, when that Twitter post went out. Uh, yeah, my life became very hard. You know what I mean? I had to get on a diet. I, I, you know, we started doing, we started moving the right direction. But you know, um, uh, man, I love food, but I also know that I love fighting. And I'm, I'm at a crossroad where now I got to decide what's more important in my life: is it fighting or is it eating? And that's a pretty easy question. You know what I mean? Fighting. Uh, so I'm going to make the right steps. I'm going to work with Dolce outside of season, keep my weight around 200. And, you know, what's, what's awesome about this is with the bicep injury, I got to lift weights for the first time again. You know what I mean? I got to actually put a month and a half of lifting weights in. So I went from 225 to 255 reps of 10. You know what I mean, that's huge. You know, that's a huge amount of muscle that I was able to put on in a month and a half. Um, and if we can work with him and I can walk around at 200, and all of a sudden you're at 200 and maybe I can get it before my next fight, 275 reps of 10. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be huge. That's huge strength and it makes it easier. Dolce wants me to put a little bit more muscle in, burn a little bit more body fat, keep me around to 18, 17, maybe even 15%. And, uh, but the more muscle I put on, the more water I intake, the more I hold, and then it makes the weight cut that much easier. So tell us what what did your Thanksgiving entail? My Thanksgiving entailed on flying to Vegas. Oh, so you flew here? I flew that day. here that day, <laughs> and I got here, and Mike Dolce said, "Hey, we got you a healthy Thanksgiving cooked if you want to." And I was like, "Man, thank you so much, but I'm gonna sit in the room and eat the meals that he prepped for me." And uh, that's sort of the way that I did it. You know what I mean? I was like, "I knew, I know." Uh, my love of food and my urge to not be able to say no. So I know that he would be there and say, Johnny, that's enough. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure I took everything. I, I worked so hard up to this point, and we've been doing it for 10 weeks, 11 weeks now, strong. And it's been a great weight cut so far, and I want to make sure that one day doesn't ruin that.
do you have any hesitations about the bicep injury? No, you know what? Man, the bicep is actually feeling really good. Um, I listened to Dr. Mike Meister. He was a doctor. He's a doctor for the Rangers, uh, Texas Rangers there, baseball club. Uh -huh. And so I listened to him. You can barely see the score. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he did a fantastic job. I test loaded for three weeks. Uh, that Monday, whenever I found out I was getting the fight, uh, he said, Johnny, you're cleared. I want, before I sign off on you, I need you to go in there and give it everything you got. We did that, and it actually, God blessed me in a way because I was actually getting my weight down, trained hard for three weeks, and then all of a sudden that Monday I was going to take off. We were actually going to go eat something unhealthy. <laughs> and I got a call saying, would you like to take this fight, and could you fight December 6th? And I was like, oh, man.